Um, most software systems, they work like individual rooms. And what I mean by that is that they're limited to what's available in the room, often for a specific purpose. And I will give you a really good example of that. QuickBooks is meant for financial data. Salesforce, for the most part, is meant for customer data. And those two systems specialize in those things. We can multiply this out by any number of things. Um, Excel is uh, handles data in spreadsheets specifically. Um, you have your project management software, Asana, Monday.com, all of these things, right? They're, they're mostly based on tasks and projects and things like that. And there are a million competitors that they have. There are a million products out there. But the idea is that those things handle one specific you know, set of processes and house one specific set of data. And a lot of businesses, uh, it makes sense that they use multiple software products because you need to solve a challenge. So you look for a software that solves that specific challenge. And you can do that in for a number of different software products because you have multiple different challenges. I need to manage my finances. Okay, well, we're gonna get QuickBooks. I need to manage my customers. Okay, I need to get Salesforce. I need to manage my, um, my marketing tools. Okay, well, we're gonna get HubSpot. And then you kind of multiply those out, right? You have all of these different possible solutions, but you miss something when you do that. And what you're missing is a more holistic sense of your business and how data flows. And what happens when you get to a certain growth stage of your business is it becomes very challenging to have all of these different software systems because think about the rooms, right? You're, you're essentially, you have to walk down the street every time you want something. 